All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I want to make this quick video because I'm tired. We try to do everything in our power to draw people to church. We're going to have a bake sale. We're going to have a fashion show. We're going to have a baby crawling contest. We're going to turn out the lights, put a disco ball in the center of the church, and we're going to invite somebody that we think can draw a crowd. We're going to have a sale. We're going to do something to try to draw people to church. Let me tell y'all something. We do people a great disservice. Stop trying to put on functions to draw people to church. If a person does not see their need for Christ, if a person does not believe the gospel, if they don't believe just a pure, unadulterated scriptures, the word of God, that they need to be saved, that they need to repent, come out of the world and put their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. If Jesus life, if his burial, if his resurrection does not draw a person to Christ, they won't be drawn. They won't come. That's why you have a lot of people. Yes, they've been drawn by man's um, antics, by men's programs. They've been drawn to church, but they haven't been drawn to Christ. That's why you still have Christians defeated in their private life. They still can't stay married to one person. They still dealing with homosexuality. They still dealing with masturbation. They still got hate and envy. They still love money. They still got pride because you had a program to draw them to the church building, but you did not have a service where they would encounter God. Let me tell you something. If people don't feel like Jesus is enough, oh, well. Oh, well, if people don't see their need for Christ, they think they all right, honey, because they're faithful tithing. You can't you can have these programs and do whatever you like, you know, to draw people to church. Let's invite the greatest gospel singer, you know, let's invite this bishop, this pastor, it'll draw the crowd. And so people start coming out of church. Baby, we don't want people to come to church just to fill up pews. We need people to be born again. We need people to say, you know what? I'm turning to Jesus. Why? Because my heart is sick and I'm on my way to a devil's hell. That's what we need. Stop putting on programs so people can come to your church. Baby, don't you see people are in trouble? Don't you see this world is in trouble? We done have been to enough programs. We done have had enough bake sales. We done invited the bishops and the, and, and, and the apostles and everybody else. That ain't bringing no change in our households. That ain't bringing no change on the inside. We done got the degrees. We done done all the stuff. Something is missing. And you know what the something is? It's the preaching of the gospel. Do you realize what Jesus did for you? Do you know that you were lost, separated from Christ? And if you don't fall in love with the gospel, if you don't, if your heart doesn't break when you see what Jesus did on Calvary and rose again, and now has brought you back into fellowship. He's given you the gift of salvation. If you don't reverence and love the gift of salvation, guess what? You can keep on having all the programs you want. You can fill all the seats in your church all you want, baby. All you're going to have is sick members that still don't have a relationship with God. They ain't grew no more from last year to this year. So let, let's stop it, y'all. Let's stop it. Let's preach the gospel. Tell people why they need to be saved. Tell people what Jesus did. If they find it boring, oh well. We're not going to compromise 
a juice up the gospel. I've heard people say, well, we need something more than Jesus. We, you know, we need something more. Well, baby, stay in the world. The world will offer you a whole mixture of stuff, but there's no mixture when it comes to the gospel. Either you want Jesus or you don't. Either you want to be changed on the inside or you don't. And if people don't recognize their need for Christ, their need to be saved, that's on them. So it is what it is. It's enough of the programs to try to get folk just to come to your church. It ain't working, honey. People need Jesus. Good night.